basic audio, speakerphone, puck mic, wireless lavalier, and mixer for hybrid meeting wood turning clubs. Demo video by John Kelsey. I'm going to discuss wireless lavalier mics to bring the demonstrator into the Zoom and wired puck mics to pick up members in the room. Let's get on with it. Now, in the previous segment, we used a, a speakerphone uh, because it doesn't depend on there being any speakers in the TV. It'll work whether the TV is a monitor with no speakers or whether it has a sound bar or whatever. You just use the speakerphone, picks up all the sound and brings it back, brings the uh, zoom sound into the room. The e -meet costs about $300. This is a Jabra Speak that's very similar and costs about $175. In this situation, since this TV works pretty good, uh, we can try just a single microphone, and that's both cheaper and easier. We can use these SoundTech uh, CM1000 puck mics. They cost about oh, 40 bucks each. They can, they can be daisy-chained together. They have a, a TRS audio jack on them. Uh, this particular one has, a TR, has the same audio jack out, and I'm feeding it into the computer through the USB port. Uh, you can also get them with a direct USB out and feed them directly into a USB port. And just this week, one of the clubs turned up this new uh, Bluetooth version of the CM1000, which they're going to use to try and avoid trailing wires around a rather large meeting space. Um, this is sitting out here on the table. Oh, it's about three feet away from me right now. Um, and I'm actually using it as the microphone. An inexpensive sound card like this can resolve a lot of audio connectivity issues. It'll take the 1 8 inch audio jacks TRS as well as TRRS and convert them to USB, whether it's headphones or a microphone that you're trying to connect and put it into the computer. Well, and here's the uh, setup. It's a selected microphone. It's called, it calls, calls itself HFR audio because it's coming in through a sound card. Um, and there's no speaker there, so I'm going to leave the speaker on the Samsung, and then I go to audio settings, and we test the microphone. And now the mic is recording for the test. Let's see how it comes through. That's the microphone. And now the mic is recording for the test. Let's see how it comes through. And that was pretty good. Um, so I can use that microphone. And those mics happen to be capable of picking up most of the sound in a medium-sized room, and if it, they're not enough, you can daisy-chain several of them together, which we do in our rather large meeting room. There's one up front where the, you can pick up the demonstrator or the speaker. Um, there's one near the front of the room where it gets most of the people in the room, and there's one near the back because there's some, a vocal crowd back there that likes to comment and talk and ask questions, so the mic picks them up. The puck mics come into a four-channel heart audio mixer. Each mic can be separately muted and its volume can be separately adjusted. This inexpensive mixer puts out regular 1 8 inch audio and USB. Uh, it has an auxiliary in and headphones out, so you can connect it to your PC directly or it can funnel into one channel of an ATEM audio video mixer. The other kind of mic you see a lot of in club setups is a lavalier mic. Uh, this particular example is a Movo. It has a little transmitter box and a, and a lapel mic. I'm going to switch to that for the balance of this uh, call because I'm going to be walking around the room. So I'm going to... Clubs and demonstrators use these wireless lavalier mics because you can clip the mic onto your collar, as this one is, and here it is over here, uh, and you can talk behind a face shield. You'll be here, heard perfectly well on the Zoom call and also on the recording of the Zoom. And if you can take the sound out from the wireless mic receiver or the computer, you can put it into a PA system so the person behind the face shield can be amplified into the meeting room itself as well as out to the Zoom. Um, it has a TRS audio plug and an on-off switch on the side. I'm going to turn it on. It has batteries, so i got to make sure it works. It takes triple A's. So now that's on. And now here's its receiver. It's a little receiver like this. It also has a, an on-off switch. I'm going to turn it on, and it has a volume setting. It has a line out. I'm going to take that out into the sound card instead of the other. Well, now we'll do a mic test because of the same thing. I already know that works with the computer. The loud background hum is both the air conditioning system and the cabinet shop working on down downstairs from. The like microphone, HFR audio, uh, talking noise tested. Audio settings. That's the mic. Now I'm talking into the mic on my collar, and we'll see how it comes back. It's the mic. Now I'm talking into the mic on my collar, and then we'll see how it comes back. 
I might want to put this uh, transmitter box down inside my shirt. So the wire doesn't catch on anything as I move around the room. These wireless microphones typically come as a set of two transmitters and one receiver. The Movo brand is inexpensive, works well enough, but requires changing AAA batteries every five hours or so. The Rode is very highly regarded and seems to work really well, plus they're rechargeable. And the Saramonix uh, set is rechargeable right in its case. These newer Rode and Saramonix sets have the microphone built right into the little unit, no, uh, no trailing wire to the lapel. While there are other brands out there to look at, these three are in use by clubs that report good results. Anytime you bring in new speakers or new microphones, uh, you want to test them out before you count on them for a meeting. Um, first thing to do is connect them to the computer itself, um, find the appropriate preferences settings, uh, for whether it's uh, microphone settings or speakerphone settings or sound settings, there's somewhere in the menus that go with your computer. Uh, make sure the device works with the computer all by itself. Then turn on Zoom and start a Zoom call uh, and go to the audio settings menu and, make, and test it out there. That's your best practices and really the only way I know to make to get new gear hooked up and to verify that it does work and begin to use it uh, and avoiding most of the headaches.